Mr. Bruce was over 19 years old when the vet told me he was dying. I chose to provide home hospice care for him. This is the story of his last week. Mr. Bruce, move your tail if you can hear me. Can you hear me, Mr. Bruce? I love you, Mr. Bruce. It's Friday. He's been like this for about two weeks. You're a good cat, Mr. Bruce. It's Saturday the 13th, and Mr. Bruce just ate a treat for the first time in a week. And he drank water. I woke up this morning and he was in my toilet. He's not supposed to do that. That's his rule. It's really good to see him breaking his rule. He only has one rule. I'm going to take care of him until his dying breath. We are all going to die, and I didn't want to euthanize. Death is a natural process. He woke up! This is his favorite food, and he hasn't eaten... Well, he had some snacks yesterday. I mean, this, this is him. He's doing what he loves. This is so interesting. I could watch this for hours. And I have. Mm -hmm. You know, some people like the no like noisy eating, like lip smacking eating, like it makes them so mad. This is like music to my ears. This is the best. Oh, he's done. I was giving him food with a syringe by force feeding, and I was giving him water with an eyedropper because at this point, besides for this time, he wasn't eating on his own. That's a very auspicious way to pass out, Mr. Bruce. I'm sorry that you're sick. I'm sorry you don't feel good. What I'm learning is that death is not a linear process. Like, yesterday, I thought that was it. But today he's feeling better. Oh, Bruce, you poor tired old man. Mr. Bruce was dying of heart failure, liver failure, and kidney failure. There was nothing medically that could be done. Mr. Bruce? What is it? Are you talking? I love you too. I'll miss you when you're you're gone. You're my best friend. Okay, he was just meowing. I guess I guess he's tired now. That small piece of smoked salmon was Mr. Bruce's last meal. I tried to look for a liver transplant and a kidney transplant for him on the dark web, but I couldn't find the dark web. There was nothing I could do, and it sucked. I saw your tail move a little bit. You're the best, Mr. Bruce. Bruce? Hmm? His tail was moving, so at least he responded to me. The vet said to keep him fed, to keep him clean, and to give him water. And then he stopped accepting food and water and acted like it was poison. Before I left for work, I carried him outside so he could feel the sunshine on his face one last time. It's okay to die if you have to die, Mr. Bruce. I gave him a bath and then he started having seizures. He didn't appear to be in pain. It's okay. Mommy's here. What is it, Bruce? I love you so much, Mr. Bruce. It wasn't easy watching him like this, but I wanted to spend every second I could with him because we were running out of time. Dying happens to all of us, and it's natural, and I wanted him to pass away in a place he loved. Mr. Bruce died at 11.38 p.m. Thursday, April 18th. We spent over 19 years together, and I miss and love him every day, and I'm glad I did hospice care, and I'm glad I didn't have him euthanized. He was a precious, wonderful cat, and the world's just not the same since he passed away. Mr. Bruce, rest in peace.